Hello programmers! Today we're going to talk about what happens when the user types in a letter and the program's expecting a number. So we'll start with a program where I've got an integer num set to 1 and I've got a do while loop for a change where I'm going to start asking the user to enter in a number. I'll scan whatever they type in. I'll store it into this num variable over top of that number 1. And then I'm just going to say you entered and whatever they typed in, I'll parrot it back to them. And while the number they entered was not equal to zero, we're going to keep going through our do while loop. So I like the do while loop because it'll go through at least once. And if I type in, you know, number eight, it'll parrot back. You entered eight, nine, you entered nine. And I can stop it with a zero and then I'm out of that loop. So what happens if we run it again, but this time instead of numbers, I type in a letter. So if I type in an A, we get an infinite loop. It's not even letting me type anything else in. So I'm going to have to hit control C or stop um, to get back control of my computer. So I've altered my program a little bit because I want to pay attention to whether or not the scanf was able to read in a number. So I added a new variable, number read, like there's zero numbers that were read at the beginning of the program. And if the scanf is successful and able to store that integer in the num variable, then num read will return the number of successful integers scanned. Like if I had, if there were two numbers I was going for and two variables, then num read could be two here. In this case, I'm only looking for one. So it will read in uh, one number and say numred is one if it worked. Otherwise, if it's not equal to one, if it's still set to zero, that means we didn't read anything in successfully that was an integer. So we could print that is not a number and one strategy is just exit out of the whole program instead of going into an infinite loop this is definitely an improvement to exit um, if they were able to scan something in we can just print the number that they scanned in and we can still do the same while loop so this program is a slight improvement over the last one because we're not going to be stuck in an infinite loop if we type in numbers we're good it parrots back to us what we typed in and if we type in a letter then it just prints an error message. That's not a number and then it, you're out of there. So that's one strategy to make sure you don't get stuck in those infinite loops is pay attention to what scanf is returning. Let me show you another strategy. Okay, the next strategy is instead of just exiting, if we have something that's not a number, we've got the same beginning of the program where if we get to the point where it's not a number, I've got another scan statement, and this time I'm not scanning and storing the result into a variable, but I'm scanning past whatever they typed in. So imagine the user typed in one or more letters and then they hit enter. You have to read past those letters before you can prompt the user and let them try again to type in a number. So this line right here it uses some regular expressions that says uh, the star means you don't actually need to save it into a variable, but read it past uh, so you can get past that input and be ready to look at something else. So. Um, that's what the star means. And then the square brackets, these are characters that we're looking for. Um, anything that is not the new line character. So any letters um, or any numbers that they had typed in before they hit the new line character, we're going to read all of those in not bother storing them into a variable, but then we've read past all those. Uh, we have an empty standard in, like the buffer is empty, we're ready to put something else in it. So then we can prompt it again to enter in a number and try scanning it again. So I'll go ahead and run this. And this time, if I type in the numbers, it's still going to work. If I type in the letter, it's not going to immediately exit. Instead, it says that's not a number. So it is able to read past that letter A and past the new line character, and it's ready for me to try more numbers in. In fact, I could just try a bunch of letters, and that scanf, the one with the, the crazy syntax there saying read in, while you're not seeing the new line character, I could even have some numbers here and it's still going to read past all of those. 
it read all the way to the end of that line till I hit enter and it read in the new line character and now it's ready for me to try typing in some numbers again. And if I type in zero, my do while loop will exit. So that's just some strategies for handling input when you read in letters and your program really needs a number. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and hit thumbs up and subscribe and have a great day.